Hello and welcome to Stem Cells in Your Face. It's the latest news about research that could one day save your life. And in the meantime, we'll make you a little bit more interesting to talk to at a party. Now some things taste delicious in a dish. Hot buttered popcorn. Pepperoni pizza. But disease in a dish? Mmm, not so much. And yet, in a fascinating study that could be important in understanding and treating all sorts of different diseases, scientists not only created a disease in a dish, but they also found a way to treat it. Now, the disease in a dish created in this case is called ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It's better known as Lou Gehrig's disease, named after the famous Yankee baseball player who died from it. Here's stem cell expert Larry Goldstein. It's a terrible disease because it is relatively rapidly fatal, usually within three to five years, sometimes faster. It's a disease where the nerve cells that control voluntary muscle movement die for reasons that we don't understand. We have virtually no drugs that change the course of the disease. In the study, scientists took a small skin sample from someone who had Lou Gehrig's disease. They also took skin samples from people who didn't have it. They then ground up those skin samples into individual skin cells in a Petri dish. And that's where the dish part of this comes in. It's a Petri dish. Then, through some really clever science, the researchers in effect reprogrammed the skin cells, turning them back into embryonic-like cells and then transforming them into brain cells or neurons. What's amazing about this technique, which, by the way, got this chap the Nobel Prize in 2012, is that those brain cells, made from the ordinary skin of a Lou Gehrig's patient, now show the same kind of glitches that are seen in the brain cells of people with Lou Gehrig's disease. And that's what allows you to create a disease in a dish. You're basically mimicking a human disease that you want to test, in the Petri dish, in the lab, using human cells. But we've only really reached the starting point in this study. The next step is to analyze the cells, to understand what goes wrong with them compared to non-diseased cells, and then to develop ways of treating the disease. The scientists who work at the Cedars-Sinai Regenerative Medicine Institute focused on one particular gene, called by the charming name of C9 ORF72. Now, mutations in this gene are known to be one of the most common causes of the inherited form of Lou Gehrig's disease, affecting about 10% of patients. The researchers found that this genetic defect worked by causing a buildup of what are essentially toxic chemicals in brain cells, interfering with the way the brain cells talk to muscles. So, they found a way to block that from happening. No buildup of toxic junk, no disease. That's brilliant, isn't it? But what's especially cool about this is it's the first time scientists have gone from taking a skin sample from an ALS patient, then creating a disease in the dish, and then developing a treatment for it all in one study. So does this mean we can now cure Lou Gehrig's disease? Sadly, no, at least not yet. But this study does provide a proof of concept for a new treatment strategy, one that researchers can now focus on. It's an important initial step in developing a safe and effective therapy that could one day save thousands of lives. And that's Stem Cells in Your Face for today.